Hi, I'm Tom Graham with Abacor Benzyl, and today we're here to talk about the TCS6 FP Torch Maintenance Station by Abacor Benzyl. In this video, we're going to go through some of the setup procedures for ensuring your torch maintenance station is operating optimally. We're going to talk about setting up the reamer position to the clamp set and to your nozzle. We'll go through setting up the right anti-spatter application procedures, how much flow, how much time, and then also the proper placement of the wire to the wire cut station to ensure a good clean cut on your wire. So without further ado, let us get into the technical overview and we'll go from there. With your reamer, it is important first to make sure that you are using the hardware needed to support your torch setup. Having the right clamp set and reamer bit for your application is critical. The three main pieces of information you need to know to ensure proper setup your nozzle ID, your nozzle OD, and your required reaming height. The key is first to clamp flat on the nozzle, not where the nozzle begins to taper, and not in the neural portion of the nozzle. Having the right clamp set will help ensure central clamping of the nozzle, providing concentricity to the blade, and having the right clamping force applied. Benzel reaming blades have three cutting edges. One is located at the bottom for cleaning the nozzle face. One is along the side for cleaning around the tip, tip adapter, and the gas ports along with the ID of the nozzle. And the finals at the top for cleaning around the insulator where really most of the accumulation occurs. In order to ensure setup is correct, Benzel provides a setup tool to utilize during the robot teaching process, which you slide over the reaming blade. Not only does it help direct teaching position to the robot, but also helps you identify the right position of the reamer blade and motor assembly relative to the set nozzle position. Adjustment to the motor position can easily be done by using an Allen wrench to loosen the clamshell holding the reamer housing and sliding it up and down to get your set height right depending on the nozzle size. Note as well the TCP pointer mounted above the reaming position. This can be used as a manual checkpoint for your robot tool center position. From there you can determine if additional adjustments are needed through either adjusting your robot tool center point or perhaps pulling off the swan neck and doing a quick alignment in your neck alignment fixture. To test your reaming cycle, you can remove the back cover of the unit by loosening a couple of screws and sliding it from the unit. Located on the PCB board to the left side of the unit is a red button, which when depressed will run the reamer through a cycle. This unit features the new TSI spatter injector, which offers tool-free replacement of spare parts, a sealed spraying chamber, simple integration and adjustment. The amount of flow for the TSI can be altered by using a flathead screwdriver to loosen or tighten the screw and alter the amount of anti-spatter fluid distributed into the nozzle. The ideal target for the amount of fluid applied to the inside of the nozzle would be to simply get a fine mist. Application times will typically be one to two seconds in length. The bottle mounting for the anti-spatter fluid that feeds into the TSI features a check valve, a bolted on bottle holder that is secured to the TCS6FP, and a 90 degree connect onto the wire cutter. The most important feature of this wire cutting station is the manner in which we cut the wire. The process entails setting the wire against the back block of the wire cut station. Once the cutting process is initialized, a holding block will extend, pinning the wire to the back block, and a shearing block will slide in underneath to provide a secure, clean, square cut. I would recommend that in order to get the most use from your wire cutter, move the wire program position on the back block by roughly three millimeters after 10,000 or so cuts, as this will extend the life of your shearing blade. Ideally, this will provide you 40 to 50,000 cuts before needing to be replaced. Should you require additional information on this product, please feel free to contact your local Benzel representative or your local gas distributor. You can also get additional information on this through our website at wwwbenzel abacorcom Thank you very much for your time today. We look forward to helping you solve your welding problems today and in the future. Thanks.